In this lesson, we're going to be learning Catfish Blues by Muddy Waters. This song comes as a request from Everett from Fadesville, North Carolina. This is a classic blues tune. It's uh, all E the whole time. Uh, it's based on an E pentatonic minor or E blues scale. And it's kind of a finger picking thing, that kind of blue style finger picking. And they, they kind of use their thumb on the low E string as as just kind of carrying a bass line. So this is kind of the groove throughout the entire song. It's just open E with your thumb and you're picking your thumb, you're doing a, a, a rest stroke onto the A string. Okay, so that's kind of the main vibe and then there's just licks in between. So the first lick, the, li the song starts out with this. Okay, so that is a simple uh, uh, bend on the second fret of the G string. I'm using my second finger to bend that. I'm using my first finger back here to help me push that up. And then it's a release, and then a pull off to zero, and then so bend and release, pull off to zero, and then I'm gonna hit the second fret of the D string. That's a classic blues kind of lick. And I'm picking the strings, I'm picking the G string with my first finger and the D string with my thumb. Okay, so that's two hits on zero on the low E string with your thumb. And I'm kind of palm muting that. You don't want it, you want it. And then that last part is the third fret E string to the second fret D string to our back to our root note, the E. So real slow. Okay. That's the first line of the opening of, you know, the first lick of the opening of the song. The next thing is the same lick that, that, uh, the, the bend and release and pull off and that's that's a theme throughout the song um, that's the next lick okay so we got the the bend the bend one time on the bass note on the low E string of the thumb and then I'm gonna pick and that's a hammer on on this first fret of the G string that's that major third. So we're kind of getting out of the pentatonic minor just for that little bit. And that's more of like that mixolydian or major pentatonic uh, blues thing. Um, so I'm doing two hammer-ons, but I'm picking the G and the B string. So it's... Okay, so the intro. leads us into the verse him singing. We're going to do three hits on the low E string. We're going to do that twice. So it's that same lick. The bend with the pull off and then landing on the root note on the second fret of the D string. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, you can also hit the bass note with with the bend, the first the first bend. If you want to keep that bass line going consistently, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so he does that twice. Then the third bar there in the verse, he just he just hits the bass note one. Then the next bar, same kind of thing. One, two, three. On the fourth beat, he does. Um, that that little lick. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit. So we got the. Uh, so we're doing one, two, three. One, two, three. Now we're just hitting the bass notes. One, two, three. 
Okay, so that little thing there, it's um, one, two, three on the fourth beat of the bar. We're gonna hit the low E string with our thumb and with our second or third finger, you're gonna pick the high E string. We're gonna do this little quarter bend on the high E string third fret. Just still part of our pentatonic, E pentatonic, open E pentatonic minor scale. Okay, so it's... We're gonna pick that just a little bit. So it's one, two, three, and then you're gonna hit it again. And then you're gonna hit it a third time, but the third time is with the bass note again. So the first and third times are with your thumb, with the open E string. And then you're gonna let off and pick an open high E string. Okay, so that whole bar, one, two, three, That's the next part. So you're just keeping that um, quarter notes on the bass note, on the, yeah, on the bass line. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we got the one, two, three. One, two, three, four. And that is just a G, third fret E string, to our root note on the second fret of the D string. Then he kind of reverses at the next bar. So it's one, two, three, uh, one, two. You do this three times. Um, so it's, that's the first one. <clears throat> and then three times you're gonna go one, Okay, that leads us to the kind of chorusy thing, uh, and it's a uh, uh, C. And then he does this bend. It's the same bend, but he holds it longer. Okay, uh, so that is. Um, come from the bar before. Okay, that's uh, one, two. I'm gonna hit the bass note with the bend. That's that second fret bend on the G string. He holds the bend longer this time. After the third one, then he comes right to the. He does that little hammer on thing we talked about earlier. So uh, it's kind of confusing. It's their timing on these old blues tunes is kind of tricky sometimes. So you really got to pay attention. So I'm gonna run through the uh, verse, and then he does that same pattern pretty much through the whole song. So. Uh, so I'm going to run through that verse. So that's it for uh, Catfish Blues, and um, it's also known as Rolling Stone if you're trying to look it up. And thanks to Everett from Fayetteville, North Carolina for sending that in, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.